Hey there friends, how is it going? I set out to make the worst amusement park of all time and you know what? I think I succeeded. It gets pretty wild and there are many casualties. It's called Troller Coaster Start. Okay, so I want to put our first and greatest ride as far away as possible because then when they get used to going that far, I'll put other rides in between the entrance and that final ride. I am a genius. And keep off the grass, by the way. No shortcut here or anything. All right, that ought to do it. Oh, oh, the entrance is right there. Uh, that's okay. They can't cross here. I'll just put up some trees or even better, a massive projector panel. Okay, that's great and all. You know, love that. That's typical, like, up beat stuff but i think footage of me menacingly looking at them as they all enter the park works a little bit better although they have a long journey to get to the first ride that i've installed so maybe they need some motivation as well definitely when you get to the stairs you need a burst of motivation there look at you one foot in front of the other you're doing great oh it's working so people were kind of turning around after the stairs so i built this lovely fairy wonderland as kind of a rest stop and also this sign all this exercise sure is good for you. So that's motivating. I also had a toilet because they were complaining about it, but I just wanted to be clear, if you go in there, you are branded a clown by the park, mainly because I just don't want to clean the thing. I'm going to be honest with you. You're only halfway there, but you're at the point that there's no point in turning back because that would be the same distance. This woman arrived when she was pregnant, by the way. These two were born in this park and they've continued to grow up. They don't know what this life is about. Mm. <laughs> He's trying to see. He's like, can I, can I see my car from here? I want to leave. Only a couple more kilometers to go, you guys. Oh, um, also I forgot any sort of wheelchair access, so um, I really hope no one needs it. An engineer built the ride. I built the entrance i'm not sure if you can tell oh did i forget to mention that this ride only goes every 10 minutes they're just like can we go <laughs> they're just stopped there for ages for no reason the time waster <laughs> Really? You came all this way and then you looked at the stairs and went, no, <laughs> that's too much. I don't want to, I don't want to go on those. Like, no, nope, that's too far. That's my red line. That's where I stop. At least they got to listen to this sign. It taught them a valuable lesson, I would imagine. You just wasted a lot of your life. Thank you for coming to the park. Okay, the queue is really starting to build. <laughs> and considering they had to come across half a continent to get here, that's pretty impressive. And remember, you gotta go back the same way. <laughs> there is no other route. Many guests are thirsty. Many guests will die. Oh god, it looks like we're losing money. Okay, we gotta work on that. Turns out having one ride that you have to walk 700 miles to get to isn't a good idea. Okay, we need to amp up the commercial section. There we go, there's a bank so they can get money. <laughs> it looks a bit out of place. It towers over the little fairy village. There we go. Nothing says family fun like a large financial district. Quaint. <laughs> it can be like Disneyland where they have separate zones for different parts of the park. This is capitalism land. Money. Get your money. Get your money here. Spend it on my park. Get your money. You. You. Money. Get your money. Put down a few more ATMs just to make sure they can get access to their money if the bank is busy. Well, one of our many banks. <laughs> it's so weird to look at the entrance. <laughs> I may as well have dollar signs in my eyes. I want the financial zone to feel like an actual city. So let's get some cars in here. Oh, it's... <laughs> Just straight through the building. Okay, first it's the cars crashing, and then it'll be my game crashing. As someone who grew up in a small town and then the countryside, this is what cities look like to me. This is an accurate representation. They're still managing to get through somehow, so that's good. I better give these people waiting a bit of entertainment. I got a trigger to set them off and now it's just permanent fireworks so it's just a permanent lol in the sky. <laughs> it's a little bit too bright though. Yeah, maybe continuous activation isn't a good idea. There we go. It'll say lol every hour now. So they're on average going to see it about 17 times as they wait for the ride. Oh wait, the ride broke down. <laughs> There's still people waiting. But I guess the waiting period was so long anyway, they don't notice anything is out of order. And where is everyone else? Oh, they're all walking back. See, this was the original ride they were supposed to walk for, but it was too boring. No one wanted to walk that long to get to it. And when the other ride broke down, they still said, no, I'd rather just go home than use that other ride. I don't have any mechanics 
so you'll just have to figure it out. I know I don't pay you enough for this, but where else are you gonna work? I hold all the power. Many guests are very unhappy. Is it because I built this ride that's just crushing people? I call it the crusher. <laughs> I'm not very creative with the names. Mm, this legally could be a gray area. Let me put up a TV screen. I'm legally obliged to inform you that you are in the splash zone. Now legally I'm cleared. Not morally, but legally, and that's all that matters. And look at them, they're all happy. They're cheering, or else calling for help, I'm not sure. Probably the latter. But at least you're getting that thrill, you know, that you came here for. They're still waiting like any minute now. Here comes the fun. Maybe it's the country music that they're enjoying. Maybe that's it. Like it is pleasant music, chill country music to study and get stuck on a roller coaster too. So I replaced the music with goat noises that sound like laughter. Laughing? I thought they might appreciate that. Yep, yeah, looks like it. I extended this ride, which is proving to be a huge hit, as in it hits them hugely. How is the carousel after breaking down? Not a single soul has ever used the thing. The screens freeze when you put it on ultra time. This one looks like he's up to something. This one looks like he's falling asleep. I think here would be a cool entrance for a ride if I can manage it. Look at that feat of engineering. <laughs> oh my God, it's awful. This one's called the drop. And you might be asking yourself, why is it called the drop when it looks like this? This. This is why it's called the drop. <laughs> Look at them all celebrating their deaths. There's a lot of litter in the pack. No, that is bodies, not litter. This goes way down, by the way, just to this empty void that I've dug out. It's so big down here. <laughs> this is the underground financial district, the financial district of the mole people. <laughs> they can still access their bank account. I mean, if they want to eat and drink, they have to get money somewhere. There's always a way to make money. And I've just monopolized the food and drink industry. There we go, more people become mole people. The problem is, even as they try and survive down here, there's rides continuously dropping on their heads. They don't care though. It's like, I still need my cup of joe in the morning. And now they're dead. I've just realized my new favorite thing about this game, that you can do up chin shots that make me look like an absolute chad. Oh, oh our, our machine only goes for four figures. Anyone died of old age yet? No, I think they're okay. I feel like I should put some screen in here to give them a little warning, to give them some chance. Oh, I hope you like this one. It's to die for. <laughs> Do you think the evil laugh is too far? No, it's good. Okay. <laughs> That'll do it. I feel like I should give them one down here as well, just for a little bit of entertainment. Maybe some interesting facts? Everyone loves facts. I'm looking over them like the overlord that I am. Service announcement. We're now going to announce the debts for the day in the pack. Uh, oh. Oh, our, our machine only goes to four figures. Uh, they're, they're high, everyone. I hope you're enjoying the pack. Honestly, the people who die on their way in are probably the lucky ones. Goodbye, everyone. If you're one of the few lucky ones to survive, please come back soon and let's see if we can change that. Come back soon and let's... <laughs> they're actually stopping. He's getting a good kick out of it. He's like, this guy's hilarious. And he just escaped his death. That guy's clapping. How are the time wasters doing? Just fine. You like the goats? They're honestly having the time of their lives and I don't know why. Maybe we just need more speakers. <laughs> Nope, still smiling. They just love goats. What can I say? Towering Inferno. Yeah, that seems like it belongs in here. It's not even scenery. It's just legit the financial sector. There we go. The financial sector's looking good. <laughs> I kind of forgot about the fact that once I built these places down here, they would have to have employees. They've all quit. Um, They just can't leave. Mm, this kind of looks like the Disney castle, but Disney are unlikely to sue. They're not like that. They make cartoons to make people happy. Okay, so if you somehow make it a through the drop and everything that preceded it, you can get to this Disney ride, which is definitely the best ride in the park because it doesn't kill you. <laughs> it's setting the bar low, I suppose. However, you should kind of know it's too good to be true because there is no exit. There is no way off this ride. Just so they can't jump the railing, I'll just <laughs> make a mini pit there. You know it's bad when a pit this size is called the mini pit. Oh my God, that's bringing in a lot of people. This is the busiest our park has ever been. Or it could be the drop. I've heard good things about the drop. <laughs>
I think I might have to rename the crusher to genocide. Oh my god, the queue is insane. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> the first decent ride I have and everyone comes. I still think it could be the drop though. Like the drop makes us double as an amusement park and a zoo because we got the mole people down there. Who needs Planet Zoo? Oh look, our first stranded people. <laughs> oh Jesus, the queue is spilling out into the main path. Now they're getting all confused. Okay, we're gonna have to thin the queue a bit. This is ruining my park. I knew I shouldn't have good rides in here. This is the musical section of the park, so listen up. Look up high, look up high in the sky, in the sky. You're going to die, you're gonna die? Oh yeah, you died. Any excess are just sent off into the grass and they're confused or happy. I don't know. I still haven't figured it out. What a beautiful park. And I think I just have one final finishing touch. Just a message to all the park goers. There we go. A giant feck you. As if this whole park wasn't a giant feck you already. <laughs> Make sure to stop by the park if you get a chance and you uh, want to die. By watching this video, you have agreed to our terms of service and you will not sue me. But other than that, consider subscribing if you enjoyed my stuff. I would appreciate it. A like or a comment as well helps me out a huge amount, and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.